The tragedy in Charlottesville sparked protests in cities across the country, including right here in our own backyard. Today, the North Carolina NAACP weighed in, discussing everything from politics and protests to the Confederate monuments. CBS North Carolina's Kelly Kennedy was at the NAACP's press conference today and joins us now live from the old courthouse in downtown Durham, where protesters tore down that Confederate statue earlier this week. Kelly. Yeah, Justin, this is where it all started. And if you take a look behind me, you can see that the statue's gone, but protesters did leave behind some signs. Now, it's a much different scene here in Durham today. It's quiet tonight, but although there's no protesters on the street right now, the NAACP says the fight against white supremacy is far from over. The spotlight on the city of Durham all week after a Confederate statue was pulled down in protest on Monday. What history are you celebrating? You're celebrating a history of, of, of people, of people enslaving other people. No, it's not. And on Friday, a rumor of a KKK march sparked hundreds of counter protesters to take to the streets. Peggy Ligby is in town visiting. She says she wanted to see the statue for herself. Next, we might go over to Duke University to see the statue that's going to be relocated, and I think that's a good idea. Relocate it. Take it to a museum. President of the NAACP, Reverend Dr. William Barber, says some of the political policies on the right have emboldened white supremacists. Hate and violence is one part of white supremacy, but policies and hateful agenda is the other part of white supremacy. Will they acknowledge the racist voter suppression practices in 2016. We wanted to hear from the GOP. Here's what Dallas Woodhouse, executive director of the North Carolina Republican Party, had to say. Quote, considering that 70 percent of North Carolina voters, including a majority of Democrats, support photo voter ID, calling those people racists and white nationalists is probably not a good election strategy. Hence why the William Barber-supported Democrat Party keeps losing elections. Barber says he's proud of the community in Durham, but says there's still a lot of work to be done. If our foreparents won against white nationalism, then we can do it again. If they won. All day we've seen cars stopping in the middle of the street, blocking traffic just to snap a photo of this statue. Now, Barber says he hopes people continue to protest, but urges them to take the fight to the local politicians in office. Reporting live in Durham, Kelly Kennedy, CBS North Carolina.